Case buddies, no fresh fleshers. That means you're no fresh for life, body and soul. We got road dates coming up, not together, separately, but you know, look, you're you, you, hopefully they're on separate weekends and you can see both of us. And if we're on the same weekend in your town, you're going to have to make a choice. I don't know what to tell you, but I'll be at Helium Comedy Club in Buffalo, uh, January 27th, 28th, 29th. I'm going to be at Bananas in New Jersey, uh, the 4th and 5th of February. I'm going to be at the Punchline in Philadelphia, March 10th, 11th and 12th. And I'm going to be at uh, in Austin, Texas, at the Creek and Cave. Uh, the 20th and 21st of May. And there's some other dates and things that are popping up that I'm not allowed to announce yet, but will be coming soon to a city near you. Guys, just come see me. I'm in a bad way. You know, I mean, you can hear it. I can't, I can't remember my website name. Uh, I'll see you out there. JoeDeRosaInfo.com for all tickets, uh, links and, and show info and all that good stuff will be there. What's up, guys? It's a new year. I'm on the road. It's been a while. Please come out and see me. Everything on SalVolcanoComedy.com as far as tickets go. I'm going to be in San Diego. I'm going to be in Los Angeles, uh, Burlington, Vermont, uh, Foxwoods, and then uh, further into February, Detroit. We have two shows on February 11th. Pittsburgh, two shows on February 12th. Albany, two shows on February 18th. Tyson's, Virginia, we're there on the 19th. Two shows in Madison on February 26th. Two shows shows at the Vic in Chicago. I'm so excited about that on February 27th. Right now, Chrissy D and I will also be at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville on March 11th. I am going to be adding dates and cities all the time, all on SalVolcanoComedy.com. I've been having a blast on the road. I'm excited to come see you guys. Go to the website, check me out. I'll see you soon. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one... Howdy, folks. Welcome to T-A-S-T-E, Buds. Buds. Today's battle is nachos versus sushi or sushi versus nachos. I don't know how Pimp listed it on the video thing here because we're not that far yet, but it's going to be a hell of a fight. A hell of a fight. I hear the people already. I hear you saying, what are you doing? We don't like this matchup. What do you, how could you compare those two? Sushi versus nachos. This makes no sense. Good, good try, guys. These battles lately, but I hear, I anticipated, I hear you all, and I'm here to tell you now. We created a show. We do what we want. We understand why we're doing it. Sometimes it's not enough to just compare two things that are kind of similar. Sometimes it's natural opponents. Sometimes we do things that are similar, but sometimes those things are too similar to the point where it doesn't really make sense because there's no big division. What we realized recently is we've run the gamut on a lot of things that have natural opposites. And what we want to focus on now sometimes are things that you would never know who would win. Mm -hmm. They're in completely two different camps. It's hard to put odds makers. It's hard to put odds on it. The odds makers would have a, a tough time. They are two things that are great in their own right, but they don't necessarily have a pure connection. I think in that respect, this type of thing is a pure battle. When we thought of it at first, I said, I don't see it. And you said to me, what did you say to me? I said, these are destination foods. These Correct. are goal foods. This, these are two foods where you say, how is the sushi there? Or do they have good nachos? Or people say, let's go for sushi. Or like they, they're like, oh, let's go get some nachos. Exactly. Right? And when you go to a place that is bad of either, you're like, forget it. Never again. Also, they are kind of weird because sushi has a little bit of, how would you say, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit more of a je ne sais quoi. Yes. If but, I may quote the French would, for the Japanese. Yes. I would also say this. They are, they are also foods that are indicative of a certain type of restaurant, meaning you get nachos in two places, either places that know how to do Tex-Mex correctly yeah. or a bar that knows how to make a plate of nachos. Sushi, you get in one place, maybe two. Either a sushi place that knows how to do sushi correctly or perhaps at Fine some dining. kind of fancy, <coughs> maybe you go to a fancy, uh, you know, like like an upper up upscale uh, 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 quality, uh, uh, what, what am I, convenience shop that does a little sushi in addition oh, to Oh, no, other. no, hold on with that. That's, that's, if you're, saying, I can't wait to go against that. No, 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 hold on a second. I'm saying, I'm saying a place... <laughs> 
I'm saying they're you're like if you're at the airport, no, you that's scoop not it what up. I'm saying. That's no, no, no. It's again, that, that's it's adjacent. It's not. It there, literally there's high end grocery stores. That's what I'm saying. You go to a high end like grocery, a Whole Foods, like fine, something similar to that, or you go to a place that has all organic, whatever. Yeah. Stop and shop. That's a place where you might grab some sushi. Stop and shop. I would not. No, grab I'm sushi. not saying the stop and shop. I'm saying a stop and shop. I'm saying a type of place. Although, a shout out Wegmans. All right, look at me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying. Also, people people have their favorite sh- sushi spot and their favorite nacho spot. Also, people are loyal to each of those things. People, there's sushi lovers and people that would kill for nachos, right? So the people that are in that camp are going to be very, very adamant of that camp. All right, let's. That's why we think it'll manifest as a very good battle with a lot of online chatter. All right, let's chant because we're going right in on this one. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. All right. B-A-T-T-L-E, Buds. Here we go. I'm going to start right out of the gate with a little history. According to her work, Nachos first appeared in 19... I don't know who she is. This is a quote from a book. But Nachos first appeared in 1933. 43. 43 in Piedras Negras, a small Mexican city. Wow, how about that? So they actually, oh no, it's in Texas. Okay, sorry. No, no, no. It's near the U.S. military base, Fort Duncan, in Texas, but it's a Mexican city. Very well, interesting. That is super interesting because Fort Duncan, Texas, the birthplace of sushi. <laughs> <laughs> when was sushi born? Well, I sushi forgot was, I was. Sushi was born I in like. I forgot I'm sushi. I forgot. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> <laughs> sushi was. Sushi, when was sushi born? Yeah. Two. In the year two. Go ahead, read the sushi fact. In the 1820s, a man named... Hold on. Oh, <laughs> Hanaya Yohei. Hanaya Yohei found himself in, in Ito. Yohei is often considered the creator of modern nigiri sushi, or at the very least, its first great marketer. Okay. In 1824, Yohei opened the first sushi stall in Ryugoku district of Ito. Are these both appetizers to you guys? No. No. Okay. No, I would do either. I think either can work as a wonderful appetizer or as a meal. I, I would say sushi is more of a meal. Sure. Consider it nachos. No one's like, I'll have nachos for dinner. You can, but at a restaurant. I mean, you but But I've gone to plenty of seafood they places. They are an app more than a main. I've gone to plenty of Asian influence. And I have a roll places. before my main dish. Exactly. For sure. Exactly. But, yeah. But this is my point. Could you even anticipate with these two things? They're beloved. I will say I've heard of people oppose sushi because they can't wrap their head around the raw fish thing. I've never heard of people be like, I hate nachos. But I will say there are such ardent sushi fans that I challenge a viewer or a listener to tell me if they could put odds on this battle. And so I just don't want to hear why are these two facing each other. They're facing each other because if we start mixing it up like this, you never know who is going to take right, the cake. Right. You never know. Sushi has become, I agree with you, sushi has become one of the most popular international dishes over the last century or so. <laughs> You're so, damn right. Easy to find a sushi restaurant anywhere in the world. I agree with that. I've been overseas plenty. You ain't finding any nachos in China. They're hard to come by in Amsterdam. <laughs> That's true. Italy, try to find yourself a th- plate of uh, nachos. Forget it. All right. Here's what I'm going to say. Because nachos are not Mexican traditionally. They're Tex-Mexican, even though they were invented in a Mexican city. They're Texican. Why haven't we done that? Why are we saying all the syllables? Okay. Are Texican. You? Okay. Look at me. Sushi. I didn't eat it until late in life. Maybe like my, I want to call it maybe late 20s almost. Oh, sure. I didn't understand it. It was expensive. I couldn't wrap my head around it. Why do I even need these people? They're just handing me the fish as it was right before. I didn't get. I didn't. I eat it and not violently throw up. Okay. I then tried sushi. I enjoyed it. I got addicted to sushi. I was having sushi three times a week for a couple of years of my life. I've now come back around where I enjoy sushi when I'm in the mood for it. But even when I'm eating sushi sometimes and I was in the mood for it. Oh, there's a fine line, and if I slightly overorder by an extra roll or something like that, or if something is when you have bad, I don't care what you think See, a bad nacho is. If you take a bad bite of raw fish, never had you, it. it. Might it might you may never have it again. I've That's never how, had again. I've never, I've never had a bad piece of sushi that I can remember that that was so bad it put me off of it. I've had places where I said that wasn't really worth the money. I won't go back. But, Even when I'm having good sushi and I ordered a little too much, it's something. When I'm eating sushi now, and, and again, it, it's evolved for me, but there's a thing in me when I'm eating sushi now that something can flip, and if it flips, I'm, I'm up Shit's Creek, where I go, 
What are but you babe. eating? But <laughs> what are you eating? You're, you're eating raw fish one after the other. Yeah. And you're stuffing your gills with raw Nothing fish. Nothing makes me feel prouder of myself during a meal. Just Healthier room temperature. During the meal. It's not raw. room temperature. It's cool. Where are you Depends. going? Where are you getting room temperature sushi? You know what I mean. It's not. It's not. It's. I mean, you My know, it's not always. Cool. It's not always cold. It's not, not even. Cold, especially cold. when it's they wrap. Be cool. But even when they wrap it around a, like fresh sushi rice that's a little warm still, when it's made really fresh. Look, all I'm saying is it's not cold, it's not hot, it's just is. I, I, and sometimes I, when I get that in my I head, I almost start cool to like side. almost like like uh I almost start to like think, dry heave a little bit. I think you're talking out of your ass here, and here's why. Because nothing I love nachos. I love nachos. I never feel sick after sushi outside of the way you could feel sick if you ate too much of anything. If you ate a little mm. too much of anything, you might go, oh, I had a little too much to eat. That's the worst. Disagree. It- no, no. That's yes. the- Let me finish. That's the worst it can get. Nachos, regret, almost equaling my excitement every time. Really? At the end of those nachos, you don't know how to pump the I brakes. am almost as sad as I was excited in the beginning. Oh, because come on, I Joe. get excited. I'm dead uh, serious. Listen, listen, listen. I'm dead serious. There's, there's something to like, I am stuffed and knowing that it's raw fish that is way more disgusting than, Disagree. oh my God, I had pico de gallo, Disagree. corn tortilla, Disagree. chopped meat, sour Disagree. cream, Disagree. shredded cheese, Disagree. tomato. Disagree. Yeah. I'm I, like, okay, fine, I'm, I'm full on all these wonderful no, foods disagree. that won't make me feel like... When I'm stuffed on sushi, I'm not tired, I'm not lethargic, I'm not sitting there going, how many calories did I just eat? I'm going, at least I'm full on like ginger and something that's got some decent stuff in it for me, or whatever, and a little bit oh, of rice. Sauce. Straight sodium? That's not good for you if you're dipping. What is the straight if sodium? If you're dipping, soy sauce. I do a low sodium soy sauce, and I won't let you judge it's, me on that. By the way, that they, they got you hook, line, and sinker. Low sodium is still way too much sodium. Okay, but I'm not eating a cup of people sodium. People dunk it in like yeah, it's a dunkaroo. I dunk get a roux. little bit on the thing, and that's it. You're At the end of the day, it's two teaspoons of soy sauce. I'm just saying, like, I could eat nachos way more frequently than I could eat sushi. That's insane. You can't eat sushi every day. By the way, that's you can't. Insane. You'll be poisoned. That's insane. I could have the best nachos I've ever had in my life. I don't want to see them again for a week. Sushi is a roll <laughs> of the dice. You can sushi, get a, I can you eat can get a good day. nacho. I can eat you sushi could throw a rock day. and get a great plate of nachos. No, you couldn't. Every time no, you, you couldn't. every time you're you have sushi, shit. you're risking your you're life. Bad you're shit. risking your life. You couldn't. Throw a rock again. You know how hard where it is to get in a metropolitan try to, try city. To get, try to get a good plate of nachos. Where try to get nachos where, where they don't put the cheese sauce on it instead of the melted cheese. Try to get it where there's a decent ground beef on it instead of fucking chili that's running grease everywhere. Where are you try going? Try to get a plate of chicken nachos that actually is seasoning on the chicken and not just bullshit like where <laughs> are you going? Processed where chicken are you going? Almost where are you going? everywhere. God damn it, Joe. You live in New York. If you throw a rock, you can have a decent nacho. Tell me a place. It's, nachos are. Uh, a lot of times, like pizza, where even when it's no, bad, it's good. That's it's true. Not, no, That's true. when it's bad, it's bad. When, no, no, when sushi's bad, it's of bad. Of course, I'm not arguing that. But, but it is way easier I, for the number one international food in the world to for you to find a decent sushi than there is to find a decent so, okay, nacho. Okay, what about this travesty? Airport sushi, deli sushi, <laughs> Who's bodega eating any of sushi. That? I'm not eating How any about of it. sushi? Way or I'm you not can eating eat any of it. Sushi. They you do think you're getting you a nice plate of nachos in an airport? What are you? Bad shit? Yes, I, actually, I do. Are you bad actually, shit? I do. You're I bet you I had a, crazy. a decent plate of nachos. You're crazy. I'll tell you what, I won't order at an airport. Sush. Neither will I. Why would you ever get sushi at an airport? I'm not going to. I, I got I got three restaurants at an airport. Case Wendy's, in, Burger King, McDonald's. That's it. Case That's in what point, I do Case in point. I will not walk into any sushi restaurant ever. If I'm going to eat sushi, I will find a sushi restaurant that has overwhelmingly good uh, reviews. Okay. And I will go to that one. If I'm right outside when I go, oh, you in the movie? Sushi, I won't just walk into one blind. I will look that one up because it's far easier to get a really top-notch plate of nachos than it is to get sushi anywhere. He ain't no there. He ain't no there. Sushi, you know. I disagree. It, I think it's a lot good of time until it isn't. I get, you understand what I'm but saying? But that's what nachos are. Not necessarily. But that's what nachos, you, you have to be nachos. told to stop because you'll eat that shit until the last bite because every bite is good. You might feel sick So that means it's good no. until it isn't. No, no, but it's when it's done is when it isn't. Sushi, I could I could be two rolls in and have a roll and a half left and I'd be like, uh, Aaron, I, I'm, I'm done with the raw Aaron fish. Says, Aaron says one of, never, nobody, you never hear one to split a plate of sushi. It's a good point, but Aaron, I disagree. I think sushi is 
one of the most communal meals you can sushi have. Boat. You sit at a bar. You sit at that sushi bar with a friend. You get the sushi boat. You're talking to the guy. The experience of sushi, where you're talking to the guy and he's sending these things out, and they have crazy colors. And it's there's no doubt. There's no doubt. It's a culinary masterpiece. I've seen the documents. <laughs> I've seen the documentaries. But think. I think like okay, nachos is a comfort food. Sushi is not a comfort food. That, that label means something. I disagree. I find sushi to be a wonderful, comforting experience sitting there, sitting with the guy. I don't think it's like, I, I don't think, I think it's a comfort food in the sense of this. Like if you went to an Italian restaurant for that experience. I think sushi dining, because nobody's getting sushi to go really, right? Nobody's getting sushi delivered. You get sushi at the place. I get sushi delivered all the time. This guy gets sushi delivered, and from he's a great complaining restaurant. about freshness. From a he's great restaurant. He's complaining about freshness. But and babe, gets if, it babe delivered. if they didn't knock it out of the park every time, I wouldn't order it. I don't get it delivered. I always, I only will go in for sushi. Case in point, a lot of people that love oh, by sushi. By the way, no wonder your sushi's warm, bro. You're getting it delivered 45 minutes out, sitting in some kid's car, you have, or in uh, the backpack of a of a guy on a bicycle. I don't have, you eat cold sushi? I've never heard of that. It's cool. It's not ice cold. Because it's in a fridge, because if it's not, you're going to die. Because yes, that's how it works. I understand. Yeah. So, but I'm saying you're you're complaining about your temp on your sushi. You gotta you gotta dash. You're bringing it to. Let me tell you something. Close your eyes. If you're not a well versed sushi person, you close your eyes. I don't care what roll I put in your mouth. No. If I dipped it in some soy, a little ginger, or if I if I dipped it in a little wasab, you're chewing and you're like, I know this is sushi. I but I don't even know if I'm eating salmon. I don't know right now if I'm eating tuna. I might be eating mackerel. I might be eating white fish. I might, First of all, disagree. Second of all, as opposed to what? Babe, the, the, the flavor dynamics babe, of that mush that they babe, put on if nachos. You, if you close your eyes. If I told you, if it, you were blindfolded and you, you're eating nachos or a burrito, you couldn't tell the difference. Bullshit. Outside of the crunch. Oh, I'm eating it off a, a triangle crispy tortilla. Outside of the crunch. Are you telling me right now, and you be honest, because our fans will see right through it. Go if you close your eyes and I put su- I put a sushi roll of tuna <laughs> and a sushi roll of salmon <laughs> in your mouth and you chewed it with your eyes closed, that you would- No, act- you can't. You don't get to all. put it, you don't get to put it in soy sauce first. I, get I don't it. care. Yes. I'll give it to you with nothing yeah. on it. I'll take. I'll, you I'll will tell you. not know the you. difference between Bullshit. sushi salmon and, I'll tell and, you. and no, you wouldn't, bro. I'll tell you. No, you would. But you would I, say, this is like a person that told me that they could tell the difference between certain bottled waters. It's all bullshit. Okay. How about the taste buddies? Let's talk about Noom. Noom. You can download the app. You can go online. Uh, Noom is basically a psychology based approach to eating that changes the way that you eat. It's not like a crash diet. It's not anything like that at all. Um, they just change the way you see food um, and what we eat and how we eat it. Uh, you know, instead of making you feel guilty that you 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 didn't follow these strict rules or you 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 didn't weigh something correctly or you you fell off track, that's not what they do at Noom. They empower you to keep going. Um, and I know that everyone is feeling pressures. Uh, to to be their healthiest selves on the turn of the new year, all the unrealistic stuff that is on the internet. Uh, you know, and no one wants to keep their strict diet or feel like they have to go to the gym a certain amount of days or drink these diet products. You know, um, those things we've all tried them and we've all failed with them. And so this is a new take on that, which is interesting to me. Uh, no, no secret. Uh, I don't know when this is coming out, but we're just into January now, and I am looking to lose weight myself, as we always are. Um, getting back uh, to filming again now, and I got that, you know, that at home weight on me, and I actually am going to start using this, and I'm going to update you guys on my progress and experience with it. I know that Chris uh, De Stefano tried it and 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 really really enjoyed it, but I'm not one that needs rigid guidelines uh, to lose weight. It just doesn't work for me. Um, and that's what they do. They give you knowledge and wisdom to empower you to build smarter, more sustainable habits. Some stats here, 75% of the users finish the program, which is a lot. And more than 60% of them of the users engage with the program and they keep the weight off for a year or more. That's me. I'm a flip flopper my whole life. I've gone up 20, down 20, up 30, down 30, up as much as 50, down as much as 50. Uh, and it, I have a hard time keeping the weight off because once I get there, like all bets are off. So I'd rather change my lifestyle than adhere to strict rules. 
Um, there's no need for a fear of ruining the whole program in one day. Like I said, you just get right back on track. All you need is 10 minutes to check in a day. There's nothing early in the morning or taking huge chunks out of your day. So try it. Check it out. Go to Noom.com or download the Noom app. Start building better habits for healthier long-term results. Sign up for your trial at Noom.com slash taste bud. Not taste buds, taste bud, singular. And it's noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash taste bud. I love butcher box, okay? Butcher box, high quality meats that are ethically uh, sourced and sustainable, delivered to my door. Uh, it's a subscription service. I can pause or cancel at any time, but I never think about meat. I never think about going and selecting meat at the grocer. I hate touching them and all the red liquids spilling all over my hands. I don't like meal prep, but ButcherBox makes it all easy. Again, they take the guesswork out of it all. Uh, they source their meat from partners that use the highest standards for quality. Uh, 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, wild-caught seafood, and more. They're made holistically, their decisions, their sourcing decisions. They keep the farmer, the planet, and the animal, and your family in mind. Um, I use it all the time. I love the fillets. Uh, it, I get It says 8 to 14 pounds, which is so true. The day I got my box delivered, I always pick it up, and I'm just like, I cannot believe how much actual meat I'm getting <laughs> delivered to my door. But I put it in the freezer, and whenever I'm in the mood for a certain type of meat, I have it on hand. Every month, they ship a curated selection of high-quality meat to your home. It's free shipping in the continental U.S. There's no antibiotics or hormones. Uh, it's enough for 24 meals. They pack it fresh. They ship it frozen for convenience, so you never have to go. Customize your own box, which I've done, or you can go with one of theirs. Either way, you get exactly what you want. This is your chance to never have to shop for ground beef again because, that's right, Butcher Box is giving new members free ground beef for life. That's one of my favorite promos they do. You sign up at butcherbox.com slash taste buds and you get two pounds of ground beef free every time you order for the life of your entire membership. Just log on to butcherbox.com slash taste buds and claim that deal. Yes, can I tell you the difference then between a California roll and a spicy tuna? A thousand percent. Of course. Yeah, okay. So then you're telling me you could tell the difference between a piece of uh, ground beef and no. a piece of steak. If, I, if, you close your you eyes, if you close your eyes and I put a California roll piece of sushi roll in your mouth, you would be like, this is sushi. <laughs> I don't know what sushi it is. If you put in a spicy sushi roll, you'd be like, this is a spicy sushi roll. I don't know Babe, what fish I don't it know is. what kind of sushi you're eating. If you're going just plain tuna, with rice around that you're an amateur. But I'm getting I mean, dragon rolls. Dude, get any I'm dragon going, roll you I'm want. Going, if, I, if you close your eyes I and big. I put a piece of sushi in your mouth, I swear to God right now, I will make a monetary wager if you were blindfolded any way you want okay, to prepare and I will make, California, and I would make spicy, you and I would uh, and I would make tempura. you a monetary wager that if I gave you a nacho with beef and a, a guac on it versus a macho with steak and guac on it, you wouldn't be able to tell I the would. difference. Ground beef because there's has a, a different consistency difference. So then I can. That's part of the whole thing. Oh, God. There's no consistency difference in sushi, is there? Why are you arguing that? That's inherent to what I'm saying. I disagree that there's no consistency. You love sushi. The if I put a blindfold on you, you would never be able to tell what fish you're eating. The difference Dang. comes from the ingredients. That's what I'm saying. There are people that love sushi that's still going to... Me. Still going to a sushi restaurant and be like, please, no eel, no eel sauce. I don't want mackerel. I don't want this. So what? What's still that got to do with it? Do people get nachos say no sour cream, Ooh. no guac? What, what, nah. what is that? Oh, yeah. The nacho itself, you know, you know what it hit more often than not with nachos? Load it up. Loaded nachos. You know what I have to say every Throw time? What, you, you know what I have like, to say every like time? Consistent? I don't care. Put everything You know on. what I have to say every time I order nachos? Tell me right now. Is it the cheese sauce or the cheese actually melted? You know what happens? Okay. Seven out of ten times when I ask the waiter or waitress that question, they go, um, I don't know. What's the difference? What I have does to go that check have to do with nachos? Because it's a shit food that is thrown together that is most of the time served with zero thought well, for quality. If it's a shit food, then let me take this, I this love it moment when it's good. to also point as out Dan, you. As Dan Galley says, nachos are for pigs who want to shove their face <laughs> with chips until they can't anymore. Sushi is for the sophisticated that actually wants to appreciate and enjoy <laughs> every bite. Well, that's what I'm about to say. Let me put a mirror up to you for all the times that you tell me that I'm choosing the uppity 
yep. the uppity choice. Yeah, well, because, the tables oh, have turned. You're, you're, you're on TV. The tables you have choose turned the today. uppity choice. The tables and have turned today. And here we are, the pig himself. <laughs> <laughs> Choosing the sushi. Pip, where are we Pot at time-wise? Kettle. We're at 18 minutes right here. Oh, that's yeah. it? Yeah, babe. Settle, settle in. Yeah. Settle, settle in for this we beat I, we I do want to hop on Sal's side because you can have beer with nachos. You can't have it with sushi. Of course you can. You, you drink can have with a sushi? Or something. Yeah, you yeah. can have oh, Japanese man. beer with sushi. It's unbelievable. Sake. Yeah. Oh, God, no. I mean, it doesn't go like nachos goes. Oh. But also, think of the place. Oh, stop. You, think of the place, it doesn't go think, like nachos think, okay, goes. Think of, your, think, of the run of the, think of the most average place or the most common place that you would have each meal, right? If you're having nachos, you, you might be at, like, you know, a, a, a bar, a grill, a place where you're maybe watching sports or you're in a communal celebration. It's shared food. It's, 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 it's social. It's, it's, uh, it's fun. It's a fun dish. Everyone, when the nachos come, everyone's in on the yeah, nachos. Yeah, that's fine. Everybody's um, disgusting fingers into your plate. That's a lot of fun. But also, nachos like are they steeped. pointed out, like they pointed out on I think you should leave. Somebody's always taking all the good chips. That always happens with nachos. I personally don't like to share nachos personally. <laughs> I like fine. to go my own route so do because I. I'm not here for you to figure out which chips so are mine you get. I love I love the art of eating a nacho. I love picking up a chip. Maybe that one's bare and I decide how much of what ingredients go on. Let me finish. I love searching through to see a triangle nacho chip that has been coated in melted cheese. Whereas, and, and I'm eating that one. That's going to be a loaded up one. I like it. I like some that has, has sour cream on it. Some doesn't. I like rooting through the bottom, pulling a chip out with a surprise on it. I like that each bite might be weighted more in the direction of each of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So not all the bites always feel the same. I like the journey that I take when I'm eating a nacho. Yeah. I like those options. I like, the, I like Sushi I like is, a, let me give like you eight pieces like, of identical things no, but that who will gets, taste identical. Who gets one roll? You get multiple rolls and you okay, hop around so two and things it's great. With eight identical pieces. It's I'm going to cut it. It's sound, identical. That is such a lame argument. You are so wrong. I, I get... Excuse me, when I go, I get a spicy roll. I get something with avocado, something with yeah. mango. Yes. I change it all up. I get some that are topped with things. Maybe I get a tempura. Yeah, but that They're roll, completely that roll different. is cut six to eight of the same but exact thing. But it doesn't thing. matter. You hop around the plate <laughs> and you- You got to order three different things. Oh, my God. I don't got to hop anywhere with one plate. Nachos is three different things dumped In one together plate. for a garbage man In like you. In one plate, a garbage <laughs> man like me. Okay, okay. Now, where is the place that you typically- Typically, we'll be getting sushi. Maybe not the, the regular person. Maybe not some upscale place. It's usually, especially in like where we're from in New York, there's a sushi place on every couple of corners. It is your standard sushi place. You ever walk into those places? I hate the standard sushi restaurant. The 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 part. Oh, you're right. They're not as good as those uh, uh, those metal counter Mexican joints uh, that are I, that I, where everything is thrown together. I, uh, you walk into you a, can't even sit you down. Those are a, great. You walk into a par sushi place. God damn it! There's some type of crazy music playing. There's Euro House playing. They always have the lights too dim. They try I don't to know like, what you're talking about. Maybe there's a fish tank. That's that'll give you a plus. But also, isn't that a bit morbid? Sushi. I can already tell from the comments. I'm going to lose this one again. Sushi is like jazz for people that want to look and sound smarter than they are. I mean, Philistines, <laughs> just Philistines writing in. You're right, guys. You're right. You're right. Nobody eats sushi because it's delicious. People answering nachos are just picky children. Sushi has 100 times the variety that nachos offer, and it literally the tastiest, healthiest food on earth. Thank Hold you, on. Ben. Courtney says, Thank very you, strange ben. matchup, but if Joe takes nachos and Sal <laughs> takes sushi, Joe will accuse him of classism. Sure. Well, That's true. I would have. Are you, looking at, the, went, are you looking at the man in the mirror? Come on. 100% <laughs> is the cheapest garbage sushi from the corner store. Just you, have so to read it, you have to read it, not for your mind, for the listener. You go, no, I did. 100% DeRosa gets the cheapest garbage sushi from, he, he wrote your he corner store. <laughs> so I changed it to his to make up for this person's mistake. The first mistake. part of the sentence was in your, in your, in your intro. In your uh, just so he can feel something when he pulls down his whitey tighties. <laughs> it's tighty whiteys actually. And it's Good not Chinese. T I D Y. Yeah, I know. <laughs> tighties. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm not as sophisticated as you are, whitey tighties. Wait, scroll, scroll, scroll up a little bit, a little more. No, right there. Nachos are a way of life. The men full of wisdom who are fortunate enough to bless their taste buds with a punch of flavor nachos creates makes it the clear winner. Okay. Both when 
combined. Oh, what is that? Turn your scraps into tasty snacks. Oh, my God. Okay. Only Joe DeRosa would compare these two. An entree versus an appetizer. Health versus junk. Not true. Hey, guys. How about take a shot at Sal once in a while, you (laughs) suck-ups? Yeah. You suck-ups? I will agree, though, guys. Jesus Christ. You can't be too quick to judge the matchups. We have reasons to the madness. Methods. I would eat nachos every day if I could. I know lactose intolerant people who would eat nachos every day and load up on the cheese and not even care. All right, here's a sell. I agree. Please. I could eat nachos almost every day. I cannot Here, eat sushi almost every day. Here's this. Uh, you cannot eat nachos almost every day. You would be three thousand pounds. That's not what I mean, buddy. I day. mean by, by 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 preference. I could like I could eat pizza here's every day. Here's a great day. one. Here's a this great. Guy's sal- taking it literal. This is a good sal dig. Gee, I wonder how the Midwest heavy follow base Sal has is going to vote this one. It's a good point. Well, we don't go. I, uh, I mean, can, scroll up one second, Pete. Sorry, people have only the palate for garbage cheese and chips. Nachos are fine, but sushi is an experience. Yes. I prefer nachos because they're easier to taste good. I've had crappy sushi way too much to vote for it. You should also... <laughs> Wait, what ballpark do you know that serves sushi in a souvenir helmet? <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, you've probably heard about Peloton before. If not for this uh, this podcast, then in life because they are killing it. Uh, I have a Peloton uh, in my home. I got it a few months ago, and I feel a part of a community now. Wow! I have my favorite uh, instructors. Uh, I got my my weights attached to it. I put on my little boots, my little Peloton shoes. I click in. I throw on the headphones, and that's it. I, I, I Sometimes I drive around new areas. Do you know that? You could drive around different cities and oh, areas. Cool. It's cool. It's for someone, for someone like me that needs help, like being distracted while I go through it. You're, you're focused on the class. You're focused on the instructor or the sites, and you kind of get through it. There's new classes now. There's new music. So much new. There's new ways to keep your workouts fun and motivating. Um, so they do have a bunch of new. They're always updating the classes and the, um, the the instructors. It's fun, and you have a profile, and it makes it almost like it almost feels like when I play video games. I got my stats on there. It tracks my progress, and it like quantifies what I'm doing. So I don't just like get off the Peloton, be like, all right, I worked out. I kind of can see my results. I see how I improve on the classes I take. I like it a lot. Uh, new additions for the year, the boxing. Peloton is stepping into the ring with its new, newest discipline, no gloves needed. Uh, even if you've never boxed before, these classes will have you working up a sweat while working on fundamentals of form, footwork, and fun combos. I have yet to do that, and it's something I want to try because I'm not sure I know how to throw a punch. <laughs> The new artist series music selections. Um, they're adding new artist series classes. You work out to the music of a single artist for an entire class or from your favorite hits to deep cuts, pop, rock, hip hop, EDM, not for me, but God bless. Uh, and there's more daily workout variety, uh, which keeps it interesting. Peloton has a workout for every goal, every day, every mood. De-stress from a long day with a 30-minute strength or 20 minutes of cardio or do a quick 15-minute total body. For a limited time, guys, try the Peloton app for free for two months. Then twelve ninety nine a month if thereafter. New members only. Visit one the number one spelled out o n e peloton dot com slash app to learn more. That's two months free at o n e p e l o t o n dot com. The offer expires January January thirty first, twenty two, and terms apply. Ballsy, I'm ballsy, you're ballsy, we're all ballsy. Ballsy is a new product line for men that keep their feet clean. Psych, they keep your balls clean. <laughs> it's not called feetsy. Um, ballsy, they got, a, they got deodorants, colognes, scrubs, washes, powders. They got trimmers. Everything for you to be your best below your dungaree. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You know, and I hate, you know, sweat is my second most hated thing. It's traffic sweat, the common cold, strong winds, bugs, cats, pointy objects, and general filth. Sweat, I sweat everywhere. Me personally, I'm a germaphobe. I like to clean everywhere. Ballsy is made for people like us. It's why you got to check it out. It's men's products for men's parts. Uh, They got your sack covered with ball wash, sack spray, and more. (laughs) 
I never, I will never get over all these. I love uh, the ball cologne. The ball cologne. Get yourself some ball cologne. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, whether the guy who loves to trim it up around there, and uh, or you're the guy who is into self care, uh, you, you look fresh, you smell fresh. No BS ingredients. They're only made from essential oils and plant extracts. There's no parabens, sulfates, dyes, none of that stuff. They don't test on animals. Uh, you can order in bundles. They call them sack packs. Baboom. Uh, when in doubt, get it all. Get the ultimate sack pack. If you're not sure where to start, you can go on and take a fun little quiz and it'll tailor the 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 the, uh, the thing to your saccuation. Got it. They write it. I I'm going to say it. <laughs> uh, made in the USA. That's another big one, uh, and they always will be. There's gift sets and the guarantee with over 200 satisfied customers, uh, 200,000 satisfied customers, and a 30 day money back guarantee. There's nothing for you to lose. Uh, ballsy. We 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 use it and we're ready for anything every day. You know, they always say they don't leave the house without clean underwear. Don't leave the house without clean everything. Mm. And Ballsy, if you want to take that, you want to make it your uh, your thing, 10% is all I want. Uh, speaking of percentages, keep the funk or if you're junk right now, if you go to ballwash.com slash tastebuds20 and put in the promo code tastebuds20, you'll receive 20% off. That's 20% off plus free shipping when you go to ballwash.com slash tastebuds20 and then put in that promo code of tastebuds20. That's very funny. But, <coughs> but Mr. Byers, if you've ever stepped into the, uh, what's it called at the Yankee Stadium? The Gentleman's Club, or not the Gentleman's Club. The, yeah, like the the, uh, the the Legacy Club or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got sushi all through that bitch. I know, but that's yeah. the new Yankee Stadium. Yeah, and it's great. Nachos because I'm obese. Shitty nachos are still eligible. Shitty sushi, you get food poisoning. Okay, I agree that shitty, shitty sushi can give you food poisoning. Any food made, you could get... Hold on a second. I got to make a point here. Hold on a second. I got to make a point. Any food that is not properly prepared can give you food poisoning. You can get food poisoning if you a chef- You know what they mean. No, stop. If sushi a is high if, alert. So then don't go to a terrible place that you can't trust the sushi. People have gotten food poisoning from fish in nice establishments. That's that's It's, 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 it's more just common, a terrible- Joe. Argument. Someone says this it's, is impossible, which speaks to the point that we think this is an amazing battle who we don't know who will win. Okay. And by the way, I love the people that are going, sushi could make you have to shit, as opposed to the Mexican nachos covered in beans that are literally the punchline to every fart joke that has ever existed. But you're right, guys. Sushi's going to make you shit. I don't need sea people. You should get neither from a gas station. True. I don't right. understand this matchup at all. Well, just wait. I've I also, ne had, also never had great nachos. Never, he I, says. Well, I, feel, I feel bad for you, Jack, Mike Jack. Which kind of person chooses nachos with squirt cheese over sushi? Disgusting. I don't eat squirt cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Only if nachos are 70% queso. See, that's the thing. You're, you're calling it you're calling it cheese whiz, but a lot of times it's queso. Queso, queso is different. Queso, you were only Don't ever compare. You were only getting real queso in a tried and true Mexican restaurant. Most places that serve, or no, I'm sorry, not most. Many places that serve nachos, like your average bars, okay, where most people get their nachos. You, that is not queso. That is fucking cheese whiz on your nachos. I There's get a shredded big cheese. difference. I, most of my places, I, I see. I don't see people putting cheese whiz on it. Uh, not Seven Eleven. I, I, go I go to the movies. You get cheese. nachos. See what they put on top Movie of those nachos. nachos. Buddy, Dare I got you. news for you. Dare you? Bars are using that same cheese a lot of the time, which is why I'm in the habit I'm not of always asking. About the movies where they give you a bag I of understand. chips and they give you a prepackaged, heated up I, thing that you peel off I and I dip it in there. That's what, not nachos. What I'm telling you is, I have experienced that cheese on nachos enough times that I have to ask. Okay, here we go. Another another dig. Go fuck yourself. Woo! Uh, yeah, DeRosa is back, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, But I mean, seriously, why listen to the podcast if you hate half of it so much, you f***ing <laughs> loser? <laughs> then don't listen anymore. How about that? Don't listen anymore, you f***ing suck up moron wow. loser. Wow. Go fuck yourself. How wow. about that? How about that? Woohoo! Yeah, that, sushi is just the tuning in, that was over a tweet about sushi. Sushi <laughs> is the DeRosa of foods. It pretends to be classes, but when you really break it down, it's just gross. How the fuck would you know anything about me? <laughs> you fucking turd. <laughs> oh, boy. Woo! Yeah. Honeymoon's over, folks. <laughs> the 
sucker is back, and he's not leaving. I'll watch this podcast burn to the ground before I leave. I fucking hate seafood. <laughs> sushi is underrated and underappreciated. I don't know if that's true at all. Uh, sushi, but the smell of the movies would be wild, though. <laughs> what? Wait, that's because he's saying you can get nachos at the movies. <laughs> you smelled sushi that's at the movies? Very funny. Yeah, that's but dude, true. that's what I'm saying. You can't get sushi at the movies. That's very funny that he said the smell at the movies would be wild. That's very funny. Oh, that's that's a go up one. That is crazy. I'd rather take chances on gas station sushi than eat bottom of the plate of mushy nachos. Now, I Colleen, tell you, you're off the reservation. I like, I like a bottom of the plate nacho when it's all I would, soft I would with eat, the clumped up you, cheese. You cannot, I like when the cheese gets hard. I want to meet the person who purchased gas station sushi. I want to meet him. The, the uh, sushi is the trendy Son of food. Sam, who is that? So, so this woman, woman says it's a trendy food everyone secretly hates. I literally don't know one person that hates sushi, except my dad, who's scared to eat it. And guess what? He's 75 it's, years old. My dad doesn't need it. It's so <laughs> gross, Stefano but it looks cute. Him. He does? Yeah. Of course he does. That pig. All right, just know that. If you voted against sushi, you're with that pig to Stefano. Pimp, our winner in, that, in the tweets, obviously, is... Uh, what was the one that made us laugh so hard? Oh, the bucket of the helmet of nachos. Yeah, that was so good. <coughs> oh, I don't know where the hell that is. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. Let's. Oh wait, was that it? Was that a picture of a helmet with nachos in it? No, no, no. no. He didn't put a picture. Let's see. Um. God, that guy's saying I've never ever had great. Let me nachos. ask you a question. There it is, right you, there. When you, you pass when, it, when you order either of these, right? When the waiters walk- follow at Ben Byers three B E N B Y E E R S number three. When, when, let me ask you this: when when you order e- when you're at either of the establishments where you're ordering either of these dishes, uh-huh. all things considered, they're good dishes. When do you get more excited when you see the waiter walking over with a with a hot plate of nachos, or do you get more excited when you see the waiter walking over with your sushi rolls on a slab of uh, rock? Uh, listen, the I got a nice slab of slate. Presentation of sushi is. I get so excited when it comes out. That's but true. This but this is not a fair. But when you see it, you go, "Oh, here's like, why I'm not." When good, the nachos are coming, here's you go, why I'm oh. not a good person to ask this to. I get equally excited when I see my food in any restaurant circumstance, no matter what the true. food is that I ordered. Okay, I can't. I couldn't tell you. I mean, you know, it's it's when I see my food coming out because I'm usually at the point of I feel like I'm going to pass out. I haven't eaten all day because I'm I've, I'm terrible at my food scheduling. I'm so excited. For you know what's very show. unique in this matchup? Neither food uh, calls for traditional utensils. One is a hand food and one is a chopstick food. I, I'm surprised we haven't seen anyone rail on like, oh, I don't know how to use chopsticks or oh, I don't like eating with my hands. That is interesting. Mm. That is interesting. <laughs> Where are all we, right. pimp? We're at thirty minutes here. All right, great. Let's 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 see the vote. Are you ready? Uh, let, you want to go? You want to go humble pie? We, I know. You, I know. We have something to do today. I think we yeah. really. I, we really got into the battle right away. No, it was and great. I think we really that gave it a, a one two. It was a hell of a battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you me? Okay. I'm screaming at fans over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. You went off yeah. the deep end. I love it, one. dude. Yeah. Let's get that whole rant beeped, but oh, for yeah. a promo. Yeah. 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 Ready? Yes. All right. Uh, drum roll. It is the humble pie segment. And by the way, 9,000 votes. So we crossed 8,000 on all three eps. Uh, but yeah, but this was quick because we only put this up like, yeah, like 30 minutes ago. Great. I will tell you this. I, tr- I I said it. I thought Christmas had a last. Let's talk about the last couple of weeks. I thought Christmas had a slight advantage of birthday in my heart of hearts. Last week, I truly didn't know about morning or evening. Yeah, I just right. didn't know. And I will say right now, I truly don't know. This, I thought sushi was dead in the water. Then as like we kept reading comments, I'm like, maybe it's got a chance. Ready? I don't want you to come back and, and, and three losses in a row, three weeks in a row. What are you going to do? I'm not here to win. I'm here to represent. Okay. All right? I'm also trying. I'm, I don't think I'm here to win, too, though. All right. Fair enough. Here we go. What is your preference? Drum, what, are you, what are you saying, pimp? Oh wow! Oh, All right, all right. The numbers are in, folks. I'm not even mad. It's, I don't care anymore. I'm numb to it. It's a nachos win at sixty-eight point seven percent to sushi's thirty-one point three percent. Not as big a margin as the last few weeks. Still a very, very big margin. Joe, you took some time down. You came back, and man, you need. You are in what the, they call a slump, my friend. <laughs> You need to be rejuvenated and revitalized. Oh, you need a horse in this race that's going to bring you back to life. This is like the beginning of Major League at this point. <laughs> this is yeah. brutal, dude. I got to get my wild thing out here. 
All right, buddy. Come to Joey Rose's 174 Rivington. If you're in New York City, go to joeyrosesnyc.com for all hours and information. That's it for me. Babes, salvolcanocomedy.com. I'm on tour right now. I'm adding dates. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee at the Ryman is March 11th. I know that's a new date. That is on sale right now. Uh, but all the dates are on the website. Also, community app, babe. Goes right to my phone. Text me, 718-260-6619. Do us a favor. If you haven't, subscribe to our YouTube channel, No Presh. Uh, click the follow buttons on, on Spotify and, and on iTunes. Yes. And if, you, if you're so inclined, if you have a moment, and if you like the show, give us a rating. It all helps. Uh, we want to start banging that drum because some of you guys are probably ardent supporters, but haven't done that and that's a big help and thank you guys for listening we hope that you enjoyed today's battle which was a bit all over the place but i loved it uh we're good I right it was a great battle i gotta say it again yeah, yeah. i got oh new dates for, i can't remember these are in the in the lead in commercial but i'm i have new dates in austin texas at the creek and cave uh in may go to joe derosa info.com for all tour dates and tickets right i still love you babe i love you too Peace, buzz. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one f-